Here we are. Yes. Greetings from the Eerie Coast. This is Mad Shad. <laughs> On this uh, wonderfully wet Sunday. Yeah, very wet. Very wet day. It's been raining all day. Yeah, uh, it's been one of those kind of just blah day. What are you going to do today? Nothing. Hmm. I mean, there's always something to do, right? Especially at the house. Um, but yeah, and temperatures dropped a little bit. It's it's uh, low 70s. I, I don't know. It's, it's a weird day. And it's, uh, oh yeah, it's game day. So uh, throughout the course of this video, you're going to hear a lot of yelling and cussing and screaming and hands clapping from everybody outside. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, so go teams, right? <coughs> yeah. Uh yes. So uh yeah yeah it's a, but you know it's a great day. It's a great day. <sighs> Tell you about those who did not have a great day. Those Americans that are trapped in Afghanistan left their betrayed drill and malicious slash incompetent regime. And at least we forget thirteen servicemen and women died in a gate Kabul, Afghanistan, along with two hundred four souls. 300 plus people lost arms and legs and limbs. Things that don't grow back. A lot of them are service as well. Service mem members as well. Every day, never forget. And never forget whose fault this is. Deploy knife hands. Thank you, Charity. Hmm. What's up? We just had some cantaloupe. Right. Good cantaloupe. Oh, oh, oh. When Charity's attack. Mm, such good kisses. Thank you. Say hi, everybody. All right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. When Charity takes over the, the live stream. But there was hope. Thousands of people, family, friends, loved ones. Uh, no, there was hope. Uh, <laughs> there, was hope there was hope in Afghanistan. People were getting them out. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project Exodus Project, Dynamo Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. <laughs> <laughs> and least we forget that uh, 800, 900 plus individuals are still incarcerated over the J6 debacle held there as political prisoners without sentencing, without jail torturous solitary confinement conditions someone lost an eye there have been suicides every day never forget I never forget whose fault this is and yes definitely deploy more knife hands Quickly. Yeah, I'm petting her. Just get her butt rub. Yeah, butt rub, butt rub. <laughs> but there's hope. Thousands of people, family, friends, loved ones, charitable organizations, law firms doing pro bono work, even some senators, congressmen, representatives, judges, former presidents, soon to be president, getting into the fray. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Just knock me down. That's cool. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where, where. where was I? Oh, yeah. There is hope. There's hope. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Uh, meanwhile, all kinds of weird shit uh, going on. Uh, wars and rumors of wars. No, and, and wars. Actual wars, but nobody's calling them wars. Uh, you know, things like that. Things are starting to <laughs> really fucking get crazy, huh? Yeah, that, and, and, and that's that's how it works, folks. That's how it works. Hmm. Mm, thank you, Charity. That's that's how it works, right? So, things destabilize. Things deteriorate. And <laughs> things get weird. And, and we all wonder why, why, why? Well, come on. We all know why. It's why the hell are you asking why? <laughs> rah, 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 rah. I can't give you any more. Oh, fuck. That was my spleen you stepped on. Thank you very much. Yep. <clears throat> it's been, uh,. uh and, and this is nothing new, but uh, I, I see S2, S2 Underground. Check out S2 Underground. You want your good, your uh, your dose of intel. Uh, but uh, uh, Rotterdam, uh, Netherlands, and France. There have been another another mass stabbing event. Mass stabbing. Event. 
stabbing uh, and machete. Uh, so, yeah. And, uh, of course, they're not talking about it because it's illegal to talk about it. Yes, do you understand this? Uh, there is uh, there is a mass millions of Middle Eastern Middle Easterners that have taken over France, parts of France, parts of the Netherlands, parts of the world, right? And now they're stabbing people. Now they're ma they're they're bringing machetes and you know going to places where people are just walking around enjoying their lives. You know, uh, kids in school, kids at the playground, parks, and then some motherfucker running around going, Aloha snack bar with a big ass machete, killing people in broad daylight. Well, of course, we all know how what would happen around here if that happens. Aloha, boom. It, it would, yeah, you, congratulations, you're going to go uh, meet your maker now. You're going to, you're going to go say hi to Mahama, Mahama, uh, Bahama Mama. You're going to get your 72... You're going to get to a glimpse at your 72... 72 raisins. <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> right? Uh, but that's what's going on over there. On a regular basis. But every now and then something comes out. Because, like I said, it's illegal to talk about it. It's illegal to get on your little computer and go... On Facebook or Twitter or X and go, oh no, 25 people just got stabbed at the park by this dude that said Aloha Snack Bar when he did it. A, a new neighbor. It's illegal for anyone to say that. Do you understand that? That's the fucked up thing about it. It happens on a regular basis, but this happened. Now, in, in these cases, uh, I know about the case in the Netherlands. Uh, they, uh, the, the mass machete stabbing uh, attacker was subdued, beaten, and knocked down, and knocked out. Um, how nice of them. Anyway, uh, and, and I don't know what happened in, in France. Maybe they threw freaking French fries at him or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what's going on in the world, right? Uh, of course, uh, in, in in Scotland and IRA. And thank you, John H, sending me what's going on in Scotland. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's getting real. It's getting kinetic. Uh, when, when the Scots march. That's it, you know. It's 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 stiff upper lip time, and uh, they're they're giving you the the stare and the glare. Not no talking. Uh, the, the Irish, uh, they just kind of uh, you know yell yell extre yell extremities, uh, uh, yell yell things in your general direction that are that are very violent, and, and then they disappear, and then violent things happen. Yeah, yeah. The the IRA kind of thing, you know. Where you get your uh, your, your Irish car bomb, uh, you know, things going on. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 that's, that's what's going on. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. Uh, I, why would you want to <laughs> send people to their death in Ireland? I mean, you know, but this is how they do it. So they don't have to send a standing army into your country. They just send some poor souls that are that are just in terrible shape from another country, or they let out prisons from another country, i.e., Venezuelan fucking uh, prisoners. You know, go ahead, go go to that country and and do what you want to do. Wow. Okay. Well, what do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna do as criminal elements do. That's 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 what they do. So. Um, <laughs> that's that, that's part of the what the 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 subser the subversion we are under a total absolute subversion if you don't know what that fucking means look it up so everything that happens and you ask why oh i don't understand why 
Subversion. Subversion. Demoralization. Destabilization. Crisis. Normalization. Or victory for the enemy. That's it. I mean, you know, books have been written about this stuff. Textbooks. It's all throughout history. It's there. Everywhere. It's a major tactic used. Subversion. Subvert the enemy. If, if your enemy is too strong to fight, you can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, you subvert them. And you take your time. And you're methodical about it. And you, you remove yourself as a target. And you, you start just changing things. Little by little. Bit by bit. Until it's more and more and more. Do you see now? I mean, subversion. Yeah. So there's no real one event. It's all a series of little events that happen. That creates this <coughs> destabilization crisis and crisis and leads to our ultimate destruction, i.e. enslavement. Now this was done on a smaller scale, country to country. It's being done all over the world. All over the world. And yes, it is the governments involved. Yes, they infiltrate the governments get into the authority the powers of the, the the authority positions and they just start to make little changes here and there corruption runs rampant i'm speaking about historical events that are happening right now to this day but hey, carry on. Walmart's still open. Uh, you can still go get your uh, your your uh, almost burgers and your your almond milk. Uh, make sure you get your soy milk too, because that's that's and make sure it's in a plastic container, right? Especially you men. Make sure that you get your soy milk in your little fucking plastic container. So it takes away all your all those nasty t testosterones out of your body and replaces them with with nice kind and 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 uh, um, uh, palatable estrogens. I could go on and on and on, but anyway, uh, yes, yes, yes. So uh, just those two, uh, just those two incidents alone, you know. Uh, uh, which are happening on a regular basis over there. Crime is rampant. Crime is rampant. Nor look up Paris. Look up, look up Rotterdam. Look up Glasgow. Look, look up these names of what's going. Just, just type it in. Oh, it's such a nice place to go. You're going to see it on Wikipedia, which has been compromised, of course. Everything is been compromised. Google has been compromised. Everything is compromised. And if you're not shadow banned, if you're not whatever, uh, the, the information that you seek is going to be tailored just for you. That's right. Hmm. So, yeah, there you go, folks. Um, oh, yeah, and of course, yeah, uh, of course, there's there's a, what do they, they call these things? Uh, sleeper cells, I guess, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of that going on. Here, of course. And everybody's like, ooh, scary, ooh, ooh, scary. What's more scary is that our our agencies that we pay, we fund and maintain are doing nothing about it and or helping the enemy. 
outright. Or there's some kind of little NGO somewhere. Oh, we've got to save the Venezuelans. So we got to give them AK-47 so they can protect themselves in Colorado. Listen, folks. This is war. Things are nice right now. Things are very, very nice. If you still have a job, you probably you probably been thinking, well, you know what? And the words probably came down. There's a threat against my job. There's a threat against my company. Maybe we just won't make it. We've seen a lot of things leave after COVID. Things are going to get a lot worse. Our money, everything. Your job, your livelihood. Life as you knew it, as a as a modern man and woman in an American society is going to change. It's already changing. Every day it changes. Every day something new happens. Something small little event. It's a, just a chain of events. The next thing you know, you're... You're wondering why you, you you can't breathe your air and you can't drink your water, and the and the food that you eat, if you have food, makes you sick and die. Why you don't have gasoline and why there's there's people running around speaking foreign languages, shooting at people, telling them what to do. You have your own neighbors doing it. Why you have young people with blue hair? Screaming and raging on and on about about the the joys and beauties and happiness of communism. Why, why chomos and their and their rhetoric and their grooming is is so much so accepted. <laughs> it's it's for the destabilization. Demoralization, destabilization, crisis, normalcy, the normalization process. The normalization process is when you're in, you're standing in the line, and there's no talking, there's no food, there's no nothing. You do as you're told. That's the normalization crisis. That's the normalization point. The final step where you have been. Conquered, and you submit. So, anyway, I have a wonderful Sunday. I just might do a a, a, a Sunday reflections now, just because I've got that off my chest. Uh, <laughs> hmm, who knows? Uh, sorry, I didn't do trial by axe last night. I didn't fucking feel like it. Sure didn't. Uh, I. I I'm going through my own bullshits, you know. I'm I'm going through my own life uh, life changes and things of that nature, uh, and and sometimes you know I, I I love you guys. I really do. I love you guys and gals out there in YouTube, uh, but you know sometimes I ain't got time for it. Just ain't got time for it. I'm focusing on other things. My 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 mind is is somewhere else, or I'm not trying to focus on other things. So you know I do apologize. Uh, for that, I know y'all love that. Love the game. I do too. It's a great game. Uh, but uh, sometimes I have more pressing matters to deal with, and think and other things to think about. And it, I, there's no way I can do anything else. So please understand, and I do apologize once again. Uh, but anyway, uh, yes. Um, so yes. Uh, go team Devil Dog. Go team Devil Dog. Fuck brain surgery. He's still recovering from brain surgery. Please go to his channel. Like, sh like, sub, like, sub, share, subscribe, all the things. Uh, make comments. You know, um, let's get that brother up. He's, he's, uh, I think he's surpassed 450 now. He's, he's well on the way to 500. So let's go. Let's go. Check him out. Go sub to him. Devil Dog Prepper. Go team Devil Dog. And then go team Linda. Go team Linda. Fuck cancer. 
she is still fighting cancer, still kicking ass and taking names. Uh, so please give your thoughts and prayers to, uh, to Team Linda um, as, she, uh, as she is going through this journey and fighting. So yes, go Team Linda. And go Team Joe. Go Team Joe. Fuck addiction. Uh, he is well past two months without a drink, without any drugs. Uh, but he is still having some major financial issues, major medical issues where he's constantly in pain, right? Constant pain. Um, and, and that's always the kind of catalyst to go back to the old ways, you know, to try to find relief and, so, and whatnot. Uh, so uh, go check out Joe Morgan's uh, channel. Uh, give him some thoughts and prayers and uh, give him some words of encouragement. Encouragement and sub to his channel. Yes, like, share, subscribe, all those things. Go team Joe. So this has been Mad Shad and Charity's all asleep now. Ain't that cool? Yeah, all passed out on the couch. <laughs> this has been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget. <laughs> oh no, she's awake. <laughs> 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 Ooh, 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 ooh.